Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, December 19th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. We are in our third uh, week of Advent. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here. Until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Come, O light, and enter our lives, enter the world mend our broken places, shine upon us. Today we're given Psalm 45. It's a love psalm. Have you ever fallen in love? Psychologists say it lasts about three years. <laughs> And then hopefully it turns to a deeper kind of love. But many of us have been in that, just falling in love, thinking of the person all the time, absolutely obsessed state. And it's romantic. It's wonderful. I mean, it pulls you out of yourself. It makes you feel alive. It's a wonderful state that I ho hope most of us experience at some point in our lives. But the real source and the real person that deserves that kind of adoration really is God and Jesus. The best person for us to fall in love with is Jesus because that kind of love doesn't just last three years. <laughs> it goes on and on and it will deepen and become more and more profound. The psalmist is singing praises to a king, a king who wins in battle, who's adorned with livery, who is handsome and gallant and brave and wonderful and the psalmist is just gushing about the king and loving the king. So if we could take that, that feeling of being in love that we've hopefully experienced at one time or another, even if it's just the adoration of a celebrity, turn it, turn it towards Jesus. One of the main reasons I believe that God became incarnate was so we could fall in love with him, so that we could have something to adore, a person, because we know how to adore a person. That's something that we could wrap our minds around. That person who was so kind and so good and so generous and so beloved and who would have gazed on us with such love, we can adore back again. I adore you, O oh Jesus. I adore you, my King. All the fairy tales of the knight in shining armor. That's you. Let me turn my focus to you, for you can bear my adoration and expand it. You can grow my heart and make me a better person for loving you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the mystery and beauty of your son, Jesus. For he is the perfect source of our adoration. Help us to grow in love for him. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for friendship, for family, for health. We ask you to comfort those who feel alone, those who suffer in body or in mind. We ask you to bless and bring peace to the world, especially today to the Congo and Sudan, but also the Middle East and Ukraine and all areas of the world, world torn by violence. Lift us, O oh Lord, Lift us to your presence where we may love the world, forgive others, and be wise. Give us a reverence for this earth that you have made and call us into your service today as the birth of your son approaches. 
It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.